Hello, everyone. Hope you've had a great week. I'm having to do this a second time. For some reason, the audio didn't work on my last recording. Hope it works this time. Before we begin our Bible trivia question, questions, um, let me ask you a question. This is not even a joke. This is kind of like a little uh, trivia thing type thing or a riddle, I guess. What is tall when it is young and short when it is old? Give you a second to think about that. And there may be more than one answer that would fit this, but the answer that I have is a candle. So it starts out tall, burns down, short. All right, let's get to our Bible trivia questions. We've got 10 questions worth a point apiece, and then two bonus questions worth three points apiece. And then, of course, if you get one of them wrong, you lose three points. But the bonus questions are optional. So let's begin. How did God lead the Israelites during the Exodus as a voice from heaven, as a star, or as a cloud and fire? Exodus 13 verse 21 tells us that it was as a cloud and fire. Number two, what did God place between the camp of Israelite, uh, of the Israelites and the camp of the Egyptians? Was it a mountain, a river, or a cloud? Exodus 14 verses 19 through 20 tells us the answer is a cloud. Number three, where did Moses lead the Israelites after crossing the Red Sea? The wilderness of Sin, wilderness of Paran, or the wilderness of Shur? Exodus 15, verse 22, tells us the answer is the wilderness of Shur. Number four, when the Israelites came to Mara, what was wrong with the water? It was salty, it was bitter, or it was dried up? Exodus 15, verse 23, tells us that it was bitter. When or where did the Israelites go after leaving Mara? Was it Rephidim, Pithom, or Elam? Exodus 15, verse 27, tells us that it was Elam. Now, here's your bonus question. Kind of a tough one, um, or at least I think it would be tough, unless you know your geography real well in that area. But here it is. What wilderness lies between Elam and Sinai. What wilderness lies between Elam and Sinai? Exodus 16, verse number one, lets us know that it's the wilderness of sin. All right. Number one, who became king of Israel after the death of Ahab? Was it Ahaziah, Hezekiah, or Zedekiah? First Kings 22, verses 51 tells us that it was Ahaziah. Number two, after the death of Jehoshaphat, who became king of Judah? Was it Amaziah, Joash, or Jehoram? Second Chronicles 21, verse number one, tells us that it was Jehoram. Number three, who sent word to Ahaziah that he would not recover because Israel worshiped Beelzebub? Was it Elijah? Elisha or Obadiah. 2 Kings 1 verses 3 through 6 tells us that it was Elijah. Number four, who sent a letter to Jehoram condemning him for his brutality and idolatry? Was it Elijah, Nehemiah, or Isaiah? 2 Chronicles 21 verses 12 through 15 tells us that it was Elijah. Number five, what happened to Elijah? When his time on earth was finished, he was killed. He was taken up to heaven. He was buried by God. Of course, the answer to this is 2 Kings 2 and verse 11. And we know that he was taken up to heaven. Now, here's your bonus question. And this is actually a pretty easy one. What took Elijah to heaven? What took Elijah to heaven? Again, the answer is found in that same verse. And it was a chariot of fire and horses of fire. All right. I hope you did well. And hopefully this recorded this time. Oh, I hope so. I don't want to do this a third time. And I hope you have a great weekend.